so this is the studio dev kit for the sob 3d nina body um <coughs> so the process is similar to uh classic in a way so you start by importing the file that you've created not the rig one the default the standalone the model itself so you come in now <coughs> ideally what you should be doing after you put your mesh is uh, binding it to the armature or so but since we're using a custom body with custom weights we're not going to be binding it to the armature initially so what we'll do first is copying <coughs> is selecting the base body and then the shed then transferring the weight to so control tab or you can switch here weight paint weights transfer weights nearest face interpolated by name uh, by name now you've transferred the weights but there is no skeleton there is no movement so there are poses in this body you can see the body is still static even though you've transferred the weight so instead of binding to the armature what you should do is <coughs> Select your base mesh, your 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 object, sorry, and then the skeleton. So let's try and select the skeleton. So it's called clothing avatar armature. Then control P to parents. Now parents with empty groups. So now there is movement. And essentially you have a rig body so we've already checked the clipping and everything in the previous uh the previous in the classic phase so all what's left now to do is export so very ex it's very important that you ensure that your your shirt is under this clothing export uh, collection if it is under this clothing export collection ensure that your materials have been correctly imported and everything and simply click export so before you click export uh normally you have to click limit bones so limit the bones and export So you just have to wait for it to export <coughs> and everything's been exported now so you open up MVU studio uh, so so I'm equally deriving from the top here from so this is just the top I'm wearing the matching hands and pants so it looks like a bodysuit but it's just the top then you import FB. So it will export it with the name of your Blender file. So just import the FBX as is. So set up the FBX. Uh, so like I said, 44 is fine. Yes, hide that. Uh, mesh, yes, yes. Why, uh, yeah, you can check over it. So you can import your texture at this point. So front texture and back texture. I know that this box is for opacity maps. I'm guessing these ones are for the other maps. 
so check everything check that you want these textures but uh, no you don't know what the animation and import so it has showing too many polygons so it might have to um, you might have to reduce that if it doesn't let you um, export so so we've already imported the textures alongside so you can come to the materials you can come to the materials and make them double sided sorry you can come to the materials make them double sided so double sided double sided you come to zero under the opacity you add your mcg preview and that's your shit now I, it's also possible to make <coughs> material double sided before exports so all what you need to do is you add square bracket capital ds and this tag will make your material automatically double sided so it will save you the time of manually having to make your materials double sided in the studio client especially if you have plenty of materials but regarding studio, so that's how you import your FBX into studio with the dev kit and everything. So thank you.